Hi guys. Hello everyone. How's it going, everybody? John and Angel. We're here for the third week of Startup Try. We're going to be talking about product development. Come along. So Angel, good to uh, be back for another week here at Startup yes. Tribe. How was your weekend? It's good. Good. All right, so today we're going to talk about product development. So go ahead and mm -hmm. open up that in your book. Yes. Product development is something that people think of, especially when they're starting off a business that involves a product. At the beginning, I'm sure that you were you know, busy deciding what drinks you would have. Uh, what did that process look like for you? How did you decide uh, you know, to have particular drinks with particular flavors, using particular ingredients? What did you do at the beginning? So first, I have this. I, I before I have this idea, like mm -hmm. I think first what kind of products, like trends mm -hmm. nowadays, and I found out that milk paste more trends in our town, mm -hmm. and I want I don't want to copy that idea. That's why I got to milkshake, which is okay. like more, uh, just the same, but another idea. And when I found out that time is like a season of mangoes mm -hmm. so I think another way on how to put mango in a into a market mm -hmm. by making it a uh, one product or a drinks mm -hmm. like that so I come up to have it a milkshake so you looked at what was <laughs> popular you looked at competitors mm -hmm. and what yes. people were already doing and then you Put together an idea based on that type of research. Yes. So one of the first things uh, for your notes that you might, might want to write down is that you need to look at ideation. Uh -huh. So when it comes to ideation, uh, it's mm. helpful to use something called the scamper model. So the first one, the S in scamper, has to do with substitute. When it comes to substitute, you might want to look at, you know, I am uh, having drinks based on mango, mm -hmm. but what if we substituted something? For example, what if we substituted mango and we added papaya? Uh, so sure. it helps you to think about some different ideas that we talked about already for uh, types of drinks. Yes. So that process of coming up with different types of drinks for your business has to do with this area of product development. How can you uh, mm. Develop different products yes. for your business so that are going to be more products to the business. Okay. Yes, exactly. Uh, the second uh, part of this, the C, is combine. Yes. yes. So <laughs> we also talked a bit about combining in your business. Yes. So this would be if we did, for example, drinks and mm. what? We combine it with food. Exactly. Yes. So what might be a food that we could combine drinks with that people might like? Just for example, like combine it with pizza, burgers, mm -hmm. and the one that I was uh, like exploring now is the crepes. Mm -hmm. yes. I think that's a great idea, especially yes. if they were a savory type of crepe yeah. that went with something that was a bit more sweet, like a fruit shake. Yes. Absolutely. So the A in this has to do with <laughs> adapt. Oh. So an example that I thought of with adapting is if you were to use coconut milk instead of cow milk for some drinks mm -hmm. for people, for example, if they were vegan or if they oh, were allergic yeah. to dairy, yeah. that's right, you may be able to adapt oh. some drinks for another audience. They're just mm -hmm. examples that get you yeah, thinking exactly. when you go through your homework this week. What okay. might these things look at look like for you sure. in terms of product development? Uh, letter M, M for modify. So yeah. an example of this that I came up with is, for example, if you were to sell metal straws that people could buy instead of plastic straws oh. to help out for the environment. Yes. It might be so something very, uh, like friendly, uh, mm -hmm. environmental friendly. Like that. Yes, exactly. Yes. Uh, you might find that some customers would be willing to uh, buy those. It would be another mm. you know, source of profit for you. Yeah, for but sure. also it would be meeting a demand for people that are concerned about the use of straws on the environment. Yeah. The P is put to another use. 
Uh, so an example I thought of this is that people might buy two drinks, mm -hmm. uh, one for themselves and mm -hmm. one that they would donate to someone in need. What do you think? So during the pandemic, a lot of people you know, are really struggling during this time. It yes. might be that some people would be willing to buy a second drink mm -hmm. uh, and they could put that to use towards helping other people out. Uh, e is eliminate. Um, so this is really looking at your product and, and saying what things could be eliminated to, uh, to be able to streamline things. Mm -hmm. uh, one that I thought of as a possible idea during this time, we've just gone back to a more strict yes. MECQ and before we were talking about looking at physical locations, now that's really a challenge. Uh, yes, most people, you know, they're not able to evil. dine inside. And so we might, you know, think right about there. eliminating physical, physical stores stuff, for so a short time yes. and selling online yeah, for sure. as an alternative. Yes, that's another help for the business. Yes, yes. And then the last thing is reverse or rearrange. Uh, so an example of this, even looking at another uh, business that was kind of novel at the time is McDonald's mm -hmm. uh, changed things where instead of paying after you eat, yes. people had to pay before, before you eat. You eat. Yeah. Um, so they kind of reversed or rearranged something that was common and it really streamlined things in their business. Yes. Everything happened at once. Pay, order, mm -hmm. it meant that they could have less staff that were focused on things and more staff to cook food and mm. bring people their food as quickly as possible. Yes. One final bit of advice when it comes to research is that what people say on a piece of paper mm -hmm. is kind of mostly true. And the reason why I say mostly true is because mm -hmm. until they actually have their money with them in their mm -hmm. hand and they give it to you and pay for it, you don't really know 100% for sure what people will say or think and yes. do. When people are getting something for free, mm. it's not always the same feedback or thoughts as when they're actually paying for it yes, out of their sure. own wallet instead of out of your wallet. Yes. Uh, so I think that this type of research and product validation helps us have a big picture idea, yes. uh, but at the end of the day, you know, we'll listening see. to what real customers yes, say, real customer. yeah, yes. that's the number one most important thing. So listen guys, show me some love, hit the like button if you haven't already, and make sure and subscribe if you'd like to watch more videos like this. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch and amping. Yes, take care.